Today, I'd like to talk about making questions for movies. Now, your movie scene... Oh, what's the title of your movie? What kind of movie is it? What's the scene about? You do have a scene that you've chosen in the movie, I hope. Uh, do you have a transcript? Have you um, found words from the scene that are difficult to understand? Um, we've talked before so about how to make, once you've found a scene, your main challenge is to make the scene easy for other people to understand. And you can do this first of all by giving background. So tell us about the people, about the places, something about the plot, something about the culture in the movie. And this will help us to understand. This is one thing you can do. The other thing you can do to make it easy to understand is to introduce vocabulary. Tell us words that we don't know. Maybe words that we do know, but we can't remember because they're somewhere in the back of our mind. So if you can bring those words from the back of our mind to the front of our mind, then it'll be easier for us to understand. Um, the other thing is uh, building schema, which I will come back to in a moment. I think before we talked about top-down and bottom-up language processing, or top-down and bottom-up listening. So usually when we think about listening and ask the question, how do you listen? How do you understand what somebody's saying? And often we think of it as bottom up. So when you are listening, you hear lots of sounds, which are also called phonemes. Uh, the phonemes are built up into words. The words are built up into phrases and the phrases make some kind of discourse, maybe a conversation, maybe some kind of speech, maybe an argument. Um, and from the discourse, we get the context. This is an idea of bottom up processing. And in fact, usually when we're listening, we don't do bottom up processing. We do what's called top down processing. So we start with the context. We know what's happening. From the context, we know what kind of discussion, what kind of discourse there will be. Uh, because we know this, we know the kind of phrases that we're going to hear. And we just need to listen out for some words or some sounds. Um, this is top-down listening. Uh, top-down listening is very easy in our first language it's much more difficult in the second language. Um, so, when we're watching a movie scene, there's a lot going on. There, there are lots of things happening in any movie that we watch. Uh, we have culture, we've got politics maybe, we've got vocabulary, we have grammar, we have pronunciation, the way people speak, the situations, the people, their relationships. Register the kind of language people use um, and the discourse and different places. Um, some of these we need top down processing, some of these we need bottom up processing. Most of them we need top down processing. Uh, so listening is actually first of all happens here, not here. Listening starts off thinking thinking about things. So, um, so um, if you're watching a movie, the first questions you may have is, um, who are they? Um, where are they? What's happening? Uh, what do the words mean? And uh, these are all questions um, that when you, if you watch a movie, or a movie scene without any preparation, um, if you don't know any of these questions, it, it'll be very difficult to understand what's happening. Um, so before we watch the movie, if we have some idea of the answers to these questions, if we have some idea who we're watching, where they are, some idea what's happening, 
Um, so this comes to before watching. So before you show a movie scene, um, you need to activate vocabulary. You need to make people... People have studied lots of English words, um, but they may not have studied the word for the last three years. So you need to activate vocabulary. You may need to teach them vocabulary, um, but a lot of it is just activation. It's in there. The word is in there somewhere. Um, takes a while to get around. Um, and the other thing is um, building schema. And I'll come back to schema soon. Um, as far as vocabulary, uh, there are three kinds of words that you need to think about. Um, first of all, um, which words, what are the key words in your scene? Which words are really important for people to understand what's happening in your scene? And you need to tell them, you need to maybe teach them what those words mean, but you certainly need to tell them those words. Um, the second word is any words that they will hear in the scene. If you've already told them the word or used the word or have people read the word or even write the word or say the word before they watch your movie, that will help them when the word comes around in the movie because the word is already in their active memory. Um, and the other words to think about is which, which words, some English words are just useful. Some English words you can think, oh, this, this is a useful word. This is a cool word. We need to, we need to learn this. So if there are words in your scene that are just useful, then you should probably tell tell us those words. Um, so that's vocabulary. This is and this is what you need to show people or tell people or teach people before your scene. Um, the next thing then is uh, what are called schema, and uh, schema are kind of mini stories um, or familiar situations. Um, a movie is, is one long story, but it's kind of made up of lots of little stories and little mini stories. Uh, for example, you maybe know this schema. This is called buying a rice ball. So uh, you're hungry. Uh, you go to a convenience store. Uh, you choose a rice ball. You go to the counter. You pay money. And... You can guess the rest of this little story. So this is a schema. This is something that, um, this is not a movie, but this is the kind of thing every scene in a movie uh, has some, these kind of things happening. And everyone knows what these, uh, maybe maybe we know what these are. Um, if you can make, think about your movie scene, and if you can make people think about the topic of your scene, or about what's happening in your scene, if you can make people think about that before they watch, it will be easier for them to understand. So think about the topic of the scene, think about the situation in the scene, uh, think about the relationships in the scene. Uh, so if there's a girlfriend and a boyfriend, maybe you want to ask people about their girlfriend or boyfriend. Um, so that's before watching. After watching this movie scene, um, one thing we need to do is check comprehension. So find out if people understand, if people have understood the scene. And another thing is discussion. So we've watched this movie scene. Here's a topic from the movie scene. Let's discuss what do people think about this. Um, so... When we're preparing people for watching a movie, we're probably going to ask a series of questions. Which kinds of questions can be answered from what we see? Which of these questions ask about the place or the society where the scene is set? Which are about the meaning of words and phrases? Which of these questions ask about your life or your opinions? Which of these phrases have answers spoken by the actors and written in the script? Which of them do not have certain answers but require us to guess? Which of them do not have spoken answers but can be answered 
if we understand the scene. So there are seven kinds of questions. Um, which one is which? Uh, please try to check the answer. Find the answer. And um, good luck. <laughs>